My friend Steve Jones travels to greenhouses all over the upper Midwest as part of his job. I mentioned to Steve about seeing these plants that have been grown by a supplier named Dan and Jerry's. He laughed and said those folks were good friends of his too, and he could arrange a tour at Dan and Jerry's with production and inventory manager Tim Sawatsky if we would like. Well, it took about five seconds to say yes, and here we are along with our Prairie Yard and Garden viewers. Welcome, Tim. Hi, Mary, welcome. Tell me, how did Dan and Jerry's get started? Dan and Jerry's started back in the mid 70s in Eden Prairie and they actually started as just vegetable growers, produce growers that would sell at the local farmers market. And in about 1979 they built their first greenhouse in Buffalo, Minnesota because people kept asking for tomato starts. That's how Dan and Jerry's got their start. How did they end up with the facility here at Monticello? That was in 93 that this area was built. They had one in Buffalo prior and built another one just down the road in Monticello. This facility that we're at today started in 93. How many total facilities do they have? We operate in four different states and have currently over 60 acres of greenhouse under cover. So each of our growing facilities in South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, and now in Michigan uh, do grow our full spectrum of products. We ship everything out of each location close proximity to the greenhouses. What is your job with Dan and Jerry's? My job at Dan and Jerry's is production manager and inventory manager. We schedule the crops to grow for each season. We purchase all of the inputs and get the production done. And then at time of shipping, we get the product out the door. Do you do it just for this location or do you do it for all of them? The inventory management side of it is just for this facility here in Minnesota. The procurement of all the goods and planning of production, we do out of this facility for all of our ranges in all four states. What are the main crops that you produce here? All of your hanging baskets, uh, bedding annuals, perennials, and vegetable starts. Wow. How many greenhouses are just in this complex? This complex alone that we're at has 97 hoop houses, like we're standing in now, and five one-acre uh, growing bays. That's a lot of facility. It's a lot of space. How is this whole greenhouse complex heated? We use forced air heaters running on natural gas. Uh, we do have a 30,000 gallon propane tank for those cold, cold winter months when everybody's house is trying to heat up, we need to be interruptible here. So they can shut off our natural gas and we need a propane backup in the middle of the night. What makes Dan and Jerry's special? So Dan and Jerry's is one of the leading plant suppliers in the upper Midwest area. And our, I think our brand Farm Fresh Selects trademark brand is becoming quite popular in the upper Midwest. It was mainly developed to set us apart from some of the other box retailers that are out there. Not a lot of our product will be found in box stores. We do service well over 200 independent and regional chain garden centers with all of our products throughout many states, uh, mainly upper Midwest in North South Dakota, Montana. Uh, we also ship down into Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin. We do have a retailer that has a chain out in New York, New Hampshire, and Connecticut that we service out of our Michigan location. It's a lot of ground to cover, a lot of miles on those trucks, a lot of miles on those plants. Do you sell most of your product retail or do you wholesale most of it? We do have two Dan and Jerry's garden centers that we uh, service. Most all of our product goes through other regional chains and independent garden centers like the one in North Dakota that you stopped at. Do you have people actually come here to this complex and shop? We don't allow the public to walk through. It's just too vast of an area. Uh, where we're standing, we're over 20 acres of greenhouse. It's, it's too much to walk through for one person. There's just too many flowers to stop and look at. How long does this stay open? How long do you keep production going? So we start production at this facility in around February. Uh, these greenhouses are all full by the end of March. We will be empty by mid-June. 
We also do a, a large offering of hanging baskets, as you can see. Company-wide, we produce just over half a million hanging baskets, ranging from 10 inches, which is the most common that people see, on up to our nice combination planters that can go up to 16-inch cocoa baskets. The combination patio pots that we do, around 200,000 of those, also from the 10-inch, 12-inch, 14-inch, and 16-inch planters. Well, this is absolutely stunning to look down and see all of these beautiful hanging baskets and plants. There's about 1,400 in this house that we're looking at now, and we've got 97 hoop houses here, so each house is a little bit different.